Hey guys, this is Sammy and Mar. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this Pokeball Amigurumi. It's a pretty cool design because this one you can open and close it so that way it can it can capture your your Pokemon and you can be an awesome Pokemon trainer. Oh, all right, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. For the bottom of the Pokeball, you are going to get white yarn and for round one, you are going to do six single crochet stitch into a magic ring. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And go ahead and close your circle. And then we are going to insert a stitch marker and I like to use a bobby pin as it makes it easy to pull in and out. For round two, our pattern is going to be two in each stitch around. So at the end, you're going to have 12 single crochet stitches. So let's go ahead and put two single crochet stitch into each stitch. So that's one, two, and then you're gonna go ahead and continue to put two in each stitch around. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And then we can go ahead and move our stitch marker. For round three, our pattern is going to be two, one, two, one, all the way around. And at the end, we should have 18 single crochet stitches. So in our first stitch here, we're going to do two. It's one two and then just one in our next stitch. I'm gonna do two again. One, two, and just one in our next stitch. And we're going to continue to do the same pattern around. And at the end, we should have 18 single crochet stitches. For round four, our pattern is going to be two, one, one, two, one, one, all the way around, and we should have 24 single crochet stitches at the end. So here's one, two, and just one, and one. Going to do one, same stitch, two, and then just one, and one and repeat the pattern all the way around. For round five, our pattern is going to be two, and then in our next three, just one in each stitch. And then we're gonna repeat that pattern all the way around. So we're gonna do two here, one and two, and in our next three, one, two, three. You're just going to do one in each stitch. So we're going to repeat two here. One, two, and in our next three, just one in each. One, two, three. And repeat the pattern all the way around. Now for rounds six through nine, we're just going to stay at 30 single crochet stitches. So you're just going to do one in each single crochet stitch around. So I'll meet you at the end of round nine. And here's how your Pokeball should look like after round nine. And if we count, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And after you've finished with the ninth round, you can just cut the yarn 
and leave a short tail. Okay, now we are going to repeat the same pattern again, but we are going to only repeat rounds one through eight only. So you're gonna make the exact same thing except for it's just one round less. So here's my first um, white pokeball part I made. I've made another one, but this one only up to eight rounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now what I'm going to do, you don't want to cut this off yet. I'm going to get the first one that I made. And then I'm going to get the second one and I'm going to stack them on top of each other with my second second pokeball part being here. Okay, and then now I am going to sew these together close by crocheting with SC around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer, I'm going to make sure that the stitches line up. And now what I'm going to do is do my single crochet stitch, but I want to go under both of the stitches. And I'm going to do a single crochet stitch. So that way it combines these two and then it closes them together. So we're going to go ahead and continue to crochet these two tops together and at the end you should have 30 single crochet stitches around at the top. Okay, so this is how it looks like so far. We've combined it right here and we're going to continue to crochet these tops closed together at the top. And the reason why I like to do it this is it just makes the, the Pokeball a lot sturdier. Okay, and we're here at our last crochet stitch. And if we look, we've just combined it to make the bottom, but it's actually two layers. Okay, so now for the red part of the Pokeball, I want you to repeat exactly what we did, but just in the color red. Okay, so go ahead and do that first. Okay, now for this round, we are just going to slip stitch around. So you're just going to grab the black and then you're just going to slip stitch around and you should have 30 slip stitch around. And when you get to the end of this round, now we are going to do half double crochet stitches in the slip stitches around. So go ahead and do a half double crochet in each stitch around and you should have 30 half double crochet stitches at the end. And when you get to the end, we're just going to do a slip stitch. For the Pokeball circle button, you are going to get white. You are going to do six single crochet stitch into the magic. That's one, 
two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to close your circle. Now for our round two, we're just going to do two in each stitch around. So you'll have 12 single crochet stitches at the end. So that's one, two, three, four. Now for round three, we're going to stay at 12 single crochet stitch, except for we are going to go into the back loop only. So instead of going under both loops right here, we are going to go through the back loop only. So we're just going to go into the back loop only. Okay, so go ahead and just do one crochet stitch in each stitch around. Okay. So, as you can see, it created this ridge right here. For our fourth round, now we are just going to decrease all around and you should have six single crochet stitch at the end. So you're going to go ahead and decrease. And you're going to go ahead and decrease all the way around. Okay, and be sure to cut and leave a long tail. Now with black, we are going to make a loop with our chain. And we're going to go ahead and do 12 chain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then you're going to go to the very first chain and you're going to also do a you're going to insert into the first chain and then you're going to slip stitch and come back out and then you're going to cut a long tail and this is where we're going to use to fasten to our pokeball so we can close off our pokeball. And here's our finished Pokeball. You're, it's able to open and close loosely with this fastener right here, which you can just wrap around the, um, the Pokeball circle there to close it up. And best of all, you can crochet your little Pokemon right here in the pattern for this Pikachu. It's going to be right up here. And so you can place him inside his little Pokeball and they look so cute together. You can go ahead and crochet, crochet them all. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe for more crochet tutorials. And let me know what other Pokemon Amigurumi tutorials you'd like to see. Alright, I'll catch you next video.